Hello and welcome again on Stocks Advisor channel, here at our channel, we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US based stocks. In today's episode, it will be a little bit unusual stock to discuss, so it's not the stock that we just choose based on our mixed analysis where we do discuss technical situation, non-linear averaging down and risk mitigations for nearly reversing stocks, but this is also a stock very interesting for mid-term investments and giving them the possibility of up to 50% upside in nearest future. So it's a stock with very unique chart and also um, actually fundamentals and pipeline combination. So it is ATS ATIA Pharmaceutical, sorry, a ticker name Iver uh, traded at Nasdaq. And before we go to uh, talking about the company itself, first quickly about the technical situation here. It's a company that not long term being traded. You can see we, can, we have only history of recording from a uh, period of November of previous year. But what is interesting about there that starting from actually mid of December, the company of course was growing as you can see here forming this uh, really nice uh, trading channel that was uh, first partially broken, then it confirmed and then finally broken by uh, mid of February and then the major decline started. And though it looks like in principle uh, being, let's say, a technical correction, but it took longer than it, it should be. And uh, if it would be just, let's say, if we would talk only about technical situation, it should have been finished somewhere in the vicinity of 5546. Uh, but we saw a sudden break, further breakdown, and actually it continues. And the reason for this, it's a combination between the chart positions, chart situations, but also what company is doing, especially its developments in um, oral-based uh, COVID-19 treatment therapies. And we will talk about a bit later also uh, discussing why it's very strong upside down. So first let's finish with technical parts. We see that we were really long time over um, bought here RSI wise, you can see from the period of beginning of the year and actually all the way to uh, mid of February, we saw being RSI wise overbought. Now we're going slowly to oversold area by mid of uh, March, then debouncing. And now finally, from mid of April, we are strongly oversold and we are already at 15, which is incredibly low. So any positive push, especially related to news, might return this company back. If not completely, the spike at least should be so enormous that it could give up to 50% upside. And that's why it's very interesting position to, to watch and to enter. So this is about, um, let's say, general technical situation. Our current technical situation is such that we are already in the third decline channel. And this is usually extremely strong because uh, after having from the period of mid of March, the, let's say we had a few channels. So this was the one which ended with the breakdown and we formed then uh, another lower channel here. Let's magnify it a little bit. So we formed a lower channel, then it was again breakout a few days ago, and now we are forming the third one, third decline. And this usually means that there is a lot of positive pressure being built because also the relative distance between moving averages and the current price is unprecedentedly big. And uh, as we also mentioned in many videos, once this is the case, uh, you can actually, you can expect really a huge, huge upwards move. So um, let's look here. You see the percentage difference between the current uh, moving average 20 and the current price is already uh, actually 47% in negative, meaning that at least to have a 50% up, which would be going from the current level all the way to uh, the beginning of the of the end of the previous uh, downward channel should give up to 40-50% easily. So this is enormous possibility here for rebounds and now the reasons of rebounds. Let's talk about those. So this is just a technical situation. Uh, you also see we are at the very principal levels where we started our trade with this company in November. So we're just below 55, 57, currently being at, four, at 24, uh, sorry, 25, 77, be, currently being at 20. 471. So already this huge void is to be filled in at least to the level of uh, 40s. So the expected trade channel in nearby future for midterm would be between 40 and actually 55 levels. 
Uh, but what will bring the company there? So let's now talk about this and let's understand what the company is actually doing. Uh, so why we expect this? Of course, it's technical situation itself, yes, but also there are fundamentals within the company. So first, the company is quite strong, even being declining that much. It is a company with, uh, also according to Yahoo Finance, with about 2 billion market capitalization, even on that huge decline. So it's a company with a strong possibilities and actually uh, still a lot of force remaining there. And what is important is uh, we need to look at their pipeline. So you can see here three major directions. It's uh, coronavirus date, uh, products, which are about um, oral um, drug treating corona COVID situation, uh, COVID actually um, disease, COVID-19. Then we have in general, other pipelines are talking about also development on, of um, oral-based um, antiviral drugs. And you see that many of them are already in the phase one and two of them are in the phase, actually one is in the phase two and the most important one, the COVID-19 IT uh, 527 is already in the third phase. So we could have any news any moment and what is also important about this that recently if you look at the recent news it was announced just 29 april that the company actually announced its first patient dose in global phase three uh, trial for this compound so it's starting it means it might take few let's say months to finish and then we will have a strong news but okay you can say it's still too long for to wait for news indeed if you are more like let's say news driven trader who believes or who analyzes the products of the company rather than the technical situation yes this is the case you would be right we still need to wait few months but what would it mean for the stock <coughs> the current situation it means that once company is entering this kind of trials the deceleration should stop because it's showing a development, it's showing getting closer to the market. And there will be a lot of people, especially in this chart situation, thinking, and they would be right, of course, that this is enormously nice opportunity. So there will be a lot of buyings happening. You can even see it for the last three trading sessions. The volumes are inc incredibly high. So market, although selling, but also people are buying through and you see the fact that RSI is increasing, also actually decreasing, means that there are many new people in still without profit. Uh, what does it mean? It means that they will potentially wait longer without selling the stock, so they will keep it out of daily trade, creating a deficit of the stock on the market as well. So there are many parameters. It's a deficit of the stock. It's a chart situation. It's a pipeline expectation, etc. That are speaking that soon should be pre-rebounds, the big rebounds that we bet on, which is up to 50%. And then, of course, we will need to wait for news. And for news, we cannot say anything because this is really, uh, let's say, uh, outside of, of, the, of the analysis that you can do on the market. But expected trading pattern here is to have, let's say, a rebounds, then a correction of the rebounds, and then the news will come. And once news will come, it could go either way. So we cannot, uh, let's say, anticipate any action there but we can anticipate this uh these two moves and especially this first one which we really need to focus on therefore this is a very interesting position to buy through and now talking about how we can buy and how we can trade here we really need to look into the um, chart itself at a little bit bigger magnification uh, actually bigger scale as i just mentioned there is no history of lower trades here Therefore, the only way to trade here will be purely mathematical approach, taking into account that RSI is already incredibly low, being 15 at a company with market capitalization of 2 billion. It's almost uh, unusual, almost impossible situation. If you globally scan on US market, you could find only a few stocks currently being in this situation. And this is usually very strong upside down. Traders know it as well, so they are ready to buy there. So you don't need to be waiting too long but still you need to buy slowly with uh, non-linear averaging downs because that's how we trade that's how we propose trading at our channel as well so therefore how to buy here there would be uh, two major levels to buy through and one 
level of current buy. So the first level uh, to buy through would be we still need to wait a little bit because some decline might be taking place further. So if the price goes to uh, another, let's say, 10-15% lower, this would be just incredible position to buy according to our opinion. This, so this is just opinion video. Um, this would be the first level to buy. Let's write it here as um, level one. And the reason we go with purely mathematically again, because there are no historical evidence of uh, another support resist levels being formed but uh, because this is the third declining channel third accelerative declining channel and the distance between moving averages and the current price are enormously huge for big market capitalization company this is huge upwards pressure therefore we just take it a mathematical approach uh, to to enter so this is the first channel to go through so let's write it Again, it's 2035 to uh, 21. And uh, with this being said, from there we can observe our rebounds, but we always, as you know, also discuss average down opportunities, non-linear averaging downs in this case. Therefore, we can take another 15% as a loss um, and uh, go uh, a bit lower, actually, According to our analysis, this should be between uh, anything between actually 18 um, and uh, 17, 20. So this would be another level uh, to buy through. And if price goes there, it will be a very nice opportunity to average down again. So there are two levels. Um, if the second level will be coming, RSI will be ridiculously low for a company with 2 billion market capitalization. So just even on technical position, it will rebound strongly. If you look at MACD, also very nice pattern. It's, a, it's forming a third negative wave. Usually also once it's finalizing, it's, it works as a very bullish situation, very bullish um, parameter. So there are all parameters, very bullish. Also the market situation, the fact that they are going for uh, phase three, it's not that we bet on the news. Again, I repeat, we bet on the rebounds, on the fact that they are going for phase three. And all these parameters together says that this is very nice buying opportunity. So the final thing, how to buy through here, it's a free portion play. So what does it mean? Because we still want to mitigate some risks. It means that you buy with the first portion of your money you'd like to play here in the first channel. And then if we decline again to the second channel, you buy with remaining two portions through that second channel of 18 to uh, 17, 20. And then actually it should be the best optimization of profit versus loss. So here we can actually write it in reverse. So 17, 20 to uh, 18. So this is the way to trade. Very interesting chart, very interesting company, very interesting situation, very RSI for big market cap company. Uh, these are usually win situations if you just are a little bit patient and you know what you're doing, you know what to expect. So with this being said, good luck with Atea Pharmaceuticals. Stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like this analysis. For more analysis and press the bell button. This way you will not miss our new videos and new interesting discussions for US-based stocks.